What is up fellow thunkers? Darren here with Thunkable X Tutorials and xtutorials.io with another Thunkable X tutorial. Now one of the things that I stand by and one of my biggest beliefs is that your app idea is one of the most important decisions you will make going forward. So before you jump into actually coding and making your app, let's talk a little bit about how to come up with app ideas. Now I know this can be a little bit hard at first, which is why you are likely watching this video. So what I wanted to do was actually share with you a few minutes from my lecture called Idea Mastery, which comes out of my, my full flagship Thunkable course idea to app accelerator. So let's jump into that now. How do we find ideas, ideas for apps? Well, the best app you can make, and I say that you, you listening to me, the best app that you can make will come from an idea that is original to you. So sure, I might have an app idea and uh, I'll, I'll probably mention a few app ideas that I will never create um, in this, in, in these videos, I, I probably, and I come up with app ideas during my tutorials too. And these might be great and they might lead you in a good direction, but the best app idea for you to make is going to come from an idea that sparks from within you. So as you're thinking about ideas, I want you to think about things that are unique to you. And we'll uh, touch on that as we go along. But I want to give you an example of an app that was made that was unique to its creator. It's an app named uh, Veggie Alternatives. And this app was made in Thunkable. So this is uh, one of the apps that's been pretty successful, made from Thunkable. So it's pretty, pretty popular in, in our space. And this app solves a unique problem and it solves the creator's problem. So here's, here's a little snapshot from the Google Play Store. So basically, the app creator wanted a way to find alternatives to, um, to I guess, common recipes where he or she was a, a vegetarian or a vegan, and, and they wanted to find these these alternatives to say, um, you know, butter or meat or, or things like that. Um, so they, want, they wanted a way to find this, so finding plant-based substitutions. And so, you know, I, and I've done this before, looking for, okay, what's a substitute for baking soda when I'm making a cake or whatever? Uh, but you have to go online and look for it, and they couldn't really find an app that was, that was really good that provided these alternatives, and they thought that they could do it better. And indeed they did. Uh, this, this app uh, has been featured on, on, new, on the news and, and things like that, so... Um, it's definitely done really well, and I believe it's done really well it's because uh, one of the reasons is it was created by someone who's passionate about it and wanted to use it, and so they had that perspective of knowing how they would want to use it, and then they made it. So as you're going forward, thinking about your ideas, start thinking about stuff that's unique to you because your best app idea is going to come from something from your unique experience. So moving right along, I want you to know that app ideas are all around you. So you might be sitting here thinking, well, well, Darren, I, I don't know what's, what's unique to me. I can't really think of an app idea right now. Well, these app ideas are all around you. You know, an app basically exists to solve a problem. So all the apps on your phone solve a problem. Whether it's, you know, the simple text messaging app that provides a means of communication. You know, WhatsApp, GroupMe, these are communication tools so that you don't have to, you know, call someone on the phone or you don't have to, uh, if it's a group message, I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a wonderful tool. So you can communicate with multiple people at a time rather than having to message them one-on-one. -on -one. You know, I think about a, an app like, say, Google Maps. I mean, that is a tremendous tool that solves a very unique problem of getting you from one place to another. A Maps app. So these are these are problems that, that these apps solve. And a lot of times, these problem-solving apps come from frustrations. So whether you're, you're frustrated, or I'll share mine. So uh, 
we'll talk about in this this course my app tip trainer that i made is my first app i was frustrated with having to every time i was at a restaurant and wanted to give a tip i was frustrated with having to pull my phone out and you know calculating a certain percentage so that i could give the waiter or the waitress a tip i wanted a way to practice doing those beforehand so i don't have to pull out my phone so that was a frustration and so now i have an app that solves solves a problem it helps people learn how to calculate the hips in their heads and so all of this comes from your unique experience your unique perspective and it leads all these things in combination they lead to great app ideas. So I want to ask you, you know, what are your pain points? What is your frustration? Where are your problems in your life? These are the things that you want to kind of think about and then ask, you know, how can an app make this better? How can an app help me do this? If you need some inspiration, you know, walk around your home or your school or office. The, the places that you spend the most time is often where you're going to have the most frustrations because that's, <laughs> that's how life works. So walk around um, or even, you know, ask a spouse or a friend because even though you're going to be the one creating the app, the truth is everybody who uses phones and, and technology these days, I mean, everybody's having app ideas all the time. That's the truth. As we move forward, I want you to start thinking about about app ideas. You know whether it's uh, some way to, uh, you know, track recipes if you if you like to cook, something to help you with cooking, or if you're a gamer. I mean, how could an app help you and others communicate in your game, or how could an app help you track something in your game or in your business? How could it make it easier for you to record certain information? I mean. I mean, there's infinite possibilities and that's why it has to be unique to you because I mean, I could not at all kind of guess or talk or give examples of every possible app idea because there's so many, there's so many out there and so it's going to be unique to you. Now coming up with app ideas is really only the first step. There's really a few things you also need to consider about your ideas before moving forward. And one of my favorite questions to ask my students is, how is this app idea unique or different from all the other app ideas and apps that are actually already out there? How are you going to distinguish yourself from all the competition? And when you sign up for the guide, this will also sign you up to receive updates on my new course called Idea to App Accelerator, which basically takes that guide, turns it into a full-fledged course, and adds a lot of extra features that I know that you will love. So when it comes to coming up with app ideas, ask yourself, what are your pain points? What are your frustrations? And how can you then make an app to help you alleviate those frustrations? This is the first step to coming up with a great app idea.